Welcome to The Argument. I'm Rafael Ruffalo, and sitting in this week, instead of Dave Webb, uh, we have Jeff Jedris, who is the assistant editor at CDN. Thanks for being here, Jeff. Today, we're going to be talking about the biggest news this week, probably the biggest news ever in the tech industry. Um, Steve Jobs, CEO of Apple, is CEO no longer. Uh, he stepped down. I think this was sort of a long time coming, but it just happened uh, this week. Uh, I guess, what's your take on this? Uh, is this going to change the way Apple goes moving forward? Well, first, uh, I just uh, like to say that I think all of us here at IT World send our thoughts to uh, to Steve as he uh, as he fights with cancer, and uh, and we and we and we hope that he pulls through uh, and is and is back soon. But uh, as far as Apple, uh, I think in the in the short term, at least, it's, it's going to be going to be business as usual. Uh, if you look at the past. Uh, People that have taken over for Steve Jobs uh, at Apple, uh, Mike Scully uh, came in from National Semiconductor. Uh, I'm sorry, Mike Scott, uh, John John Scully came in from Pepsi. Uh, uh, both outsiders. Whereas this this new fellow Tim Cook uh, is an Apple insider. He's been been groomed for this role. Uh, by Steve, they saw this coming, so uh, I, I think in the, in the short term it's, it's business as usual. In, in the long term, it remains to be seen. Uh, I, I think uh, Steve Jobs isn't on, isn't on, omnipotent, and you know he's made his mistakes as well. Apple Lisa uh, wasn't uh, the success that he hoped for. The, the thing is, though, I mean, even in the short term, I think this could be dangerous for for Apple. Um, it, of course, Steve probably had some, you know of his own projects in the pipeline that we might see over the next two years. But Apple has gotten th to this um, situation where they're really pushing the litigation and going after companies that way. It's companies like Samsung in Europe, they're really targeting all these Android-related um, uh, patent claims. And uh, the thing with that is you're not innovating when you're doing that. You're not going to create the next iPad or iPhone in the courts. And I think Steve Jobs provided that you know filter for them where you know he was on the creative side and he was making sure they had those products coming down the pipeline and keeping them focused but he was still the CEO during this period and if you don't think he was fully on board with that litigation strategy then you're crazy well I think it's gonna get worse I think it's gonna get worse with you know jobs out of the picture I think that they're going to rely on right now the cycle for Apple is just update their major platforms like the iPad we're gonna see an iPad 3 we're gonna see an iPhone 5 um, we've seen you know new versions of iTunes and stuff like that, but they need to create. There can only they can only coast on those products well, for the next couple I, of years where they have to do something it, different. Apple is bigger than than Steve Jobs, and let's remember, you know, Apple didn't invent the, the PC, they didn't invent the tablet computer, they didn't invent the mobile phone. They saw something in the market and they made it better. Yeah, and they marketed, marketed the heck of it. But uh, I, I think there's an opportunity for Apple to go in a different direction. Steve Jobs is a very, very, very controlling person. It's his way or the highway, and uh, maybe it's time to open things up at Apple. But the thing is, Steve Jobs brings the magic. And, you know, without him there, I don't see magical products coming out of Apple anymore, as silly as that is to say. Their marketing campaign there, I think that's really what Steve Jobs brings. And without that filter, they could be in trouble. Well, uh, Apple isn't magic, it's a business, and I think it, it, uh, uh, its heart will go on.